Now we're going to look at the journey that's often never talked about, and that's from tamping to the machine where we insert the portafilter and we press brew. It's a very short space of time, but it's where I see most uh, extraction problems uh, originating from. So, first thing we have to do is be very, very careful with this. Quick, efficient, but careful. Move it across, and when we bring it in to the group head, we need to make sure that we don't knock it. If we knock it, then we can take the coffee puck away from the side of the basket or put a crack on the inside. So this will uh, result in channeling. The next thing we need to be careful of, if we flush and put our putter filter back too early, there will still be drips of water coming down onto the, the coffee, which is not good for the coffee. So the most efficient way to do it, if you can, is flush when you take the porta filter out. You tamp and you come back and you don't have to worry about that. If you need to flush for some reason before you insert your porta filter, make sure that it finishes dripping first, then insert. Next thing, once it's inserted, we've got to press the brew button immediately. Reason for this with dark roast is that it starts a bitter, burnt flavour. It's not actually burning, but it's uh, a burnt flavour that you'll get. Also, it's to save time with customers. So, in, button, cup down, plenty of time. So a very, very simple journey from tamping to pressing brew, but one that has many, many dangers. Don't do them.